Hey guys, I'm back with the next episode of Fruit Basket. So last episode was really good, very emotional, very heavy. Actually, in my review for the last episode, I kind of avoided the future talk because I was about to have an existential crisis because I'm at that point right now where it's like, what am I going to do with my life? So I didn't really talk about that. I mostly talked about Kyo's dad and us getting to see him for the first time and learn a little bit more about the cat spirit and what ultimately is going to be the fate of Kyo or what they want Kyo's fate to be basically. And yeah, the future talk was very deep, very real, and they explained it beautifully in the episode and I'm not going to get into that. So this episode we have from what we saw at the end of last episode, the little tease of the episode, I think I know what's going to happen and now I know that I was right because I don't know how people post their reactions so fast, but like it's Monday and someone already posted, two people that I watch already posted their reactions to Fruit Basket and I saw the thumbnail and so I know I was right about what I thought this episode was going to contain. So yeah, I know that part, but that's it. I don't know what else this episode, what's going to happen in this episode, so I'm definitely excited to start this and see what happens. Anyways, guys, let's get started with episode three. <gasps> Yuki's mom. <sighs> oh my god, we got Kyo's dad last episode. Are we getting Yuki's mom this episode? Oh my god. <sighs> oh, poor Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're hilarious. That's my biggest love. <laughs> That's great. Yes, that's what I thought was going to happen this episode. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, like, he was just like, what? Yuki actually agreed to come visit my shop? I want to try and understand you better. Aw, Yuki. Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> They're really begged to come visit my shop. <laughs> he's calling out, sorry. <laughs> yes! This must be by her princess side. <laughs> what do you call it? Ayame being best bro though, like being like the princess needs to be by the princess side. So, Kyo, don't come. Because this is Yuki and Toru moment right here. Oh, <laughs> poor Yuki. <laughs> Knew about the shop, but not what kind. <laughs> Yuki, he's probably like, oh god, what did I just get myself into? So because I haven't been posting this, I don't know if they will get taken down because of sound. And I don't use headphones when I watch it. I just kind of record and let my camera pick up the sound of the show. Hopefully these don't get taken down. I don't really know what I'm going to do if they do. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. I'm like trying to follow the basic same standards I use for the fair use for other TV shows I watch that are not anime. But I know like TV Tokyo is like very strict with their policy and I'm not like gonna show the entire episode just like under 10 minutes. Like I said, I'm following the standards that I follow with other shows. So hopefully that helps. But that's not what I thought this story was like. <laughs> I am at most trusted, most caring. The sign has the charm inside. I thought this story was like different, I don't remember. <laughs> there she is. Nine. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Didn't we see that last season? Also, I swear I've seen him in the wedding dress before and not just in the manga. Maybe it was the original Fruit Basket anime? I don't know, but I swear I've seen that before. <laughs> To each his own. <laughs> Toru looks so amazed by everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> the bunny outfit. Hey, man, it's from. <laughs> I love Ayame. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> She's gonna dress Toru up. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> oh. oh, I love Ayame and Yuki. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's gonna dress you up. Parent teacher conferences. He should. Yes. <laughs> I let him over here, sugar. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. I forgot her name, but yes, I love her too. It's okay for us to Just like those people. People who sold me for their benefit. Oh, Yuki. <sighs> We're getting more of Yuki's backstory. Y'all must feel so bad. But you're trying to change. That's the important thing. You're trying to be there for him now. <gasps> Ayame flashbacks. Oh no. This is where... Oh, it breaks my heart. I like that they included a little bit of Mine and Ayame's relationship in there because I know in the manga I don't think we get it so much later. But oh, it. At least he's trying to change. Like, he's trying to be there for Yuki now. Mm. <laughs> 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 he just said you're going to be instead. <laughs> because he's a young man. Mm. Oh, Yuki can relate. You're not just a tool. Even I have someone who will stay by my side as you You're not as alone as you think. Oh. You'll be the next student council president. Chris if I have been with your older brother. <laughs> yeah, I understand it. Mm -hmm. oh, I was born having what you like, and you were born having what I like. Oh, I really value you. And the kindness that you have. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to see Yuki's face. Where is she? Oh. Oh. She looks so tiny. 
They're so cute. If I don't accept that as a fact when I'm interacting with him, I just get dragged along in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get closer. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was gonna call her princess. <laughs> 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 Your first romance day. <laughs> My first man was report the stickers on a towards <laughs> The room. Oh, it's like. It's like if he was gonna get him out of the room. <laughs> My heart. I have it. That do you what up? Okay, it was like he dressed Martin as first romance on <laughs> Tori. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me in the same level as she grew. <laughs> that Dory is just like so done. <laughs> that was a cute episode. We got a little bit more on Yuki. I'm actually surprised it took up the whole episode. I didn't remember all of it. So like I knew it was basically they would go to the shop, they would talk, and Toro would try on a dress. And it'd be a really cute moment. But I feel like they included more scenes like I don't remember Yuki's dreaming about his mom and being called Tool and all that stuff. I know that does happen, but I thought we'd get more on that, like closer to the parent-teacher conferences, but I like how they brought it together. And we got to see Ayame remember the first and last time ever Yuki ever reached out to him. And it kind of breaks my heart because like now Ayame is definitely trying to be a better brother and all of that, which I absolutely love because I love their relationship as he's like really, really trying to be there for Yuki now. Oh, okay. What's next episode? I'm excited. I got dumped. <gasps> yes. I mean, no, it's really sad, but like, <gasps> finally. <laughs> oh my god, I could not wait for Monday. Okay, guys, I am so excited for next week's episode. Just their story is like really sad, but it's also like, oh, my heart. Like, it's just. I, I love when my favorite characters get more screen time. Like, today we focused a lot on Yuki, and that was great. We didn't see Kyo much, and we got Ayame, which is great. I love him. He's hilarious. But next episode, oh my god, I'm so excited. I got dumped. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna get to meet new characters, hopefully, maybe. All I remember from the manga is the words, I got dumped, and just, like, where they are when they say it. But... That's about all I remember. I don't remember what exactly happens after that, but I'm so excited. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I can't believe I have to wait a whole week now. Oh, I, I'm just really, really excited. That's all I can think about now. I'm trying to think about this episode and what happened. Okay, <clears throat> I need to calm down. It's just an anime. <laughs> okay, we started off this episode with Yuki having a nightmare about his mother and how he was treated as a kid and to just, wow. I mean, last episode we met Kyo's biological father and this episode we got a peek into Yuki's childhood before the events of what we saw from his childhood last season. And we got a view of his mother, this cold-hearted... Anyways, yeah, so we got to see he was basically sold as a kid and I'm guessing everyone knows to who, but... Yeah, it was more like they saw him as a tool or as a thing, like, instead of their actual kid. I don't remember if we get anything on Yuki's father, but I do remember his mother. And Ayame volunteering to go to this parent-teacher conference for him is so cute. And just, like, them working on their brotherly bond. It was great that Yuki shows, like, an interest, at least a little bit, into more of Ayame, although he didn't know what the shop was about, so when Toru mentioned it, he was like, oh god, this was a horrible idea, but it wasn't actually what everyone was saying or thinking. It's like a craft store, and then he makes outfits for people who just happen to be men who have fetishes. But he sells men's romance. Which I love how he explains the whole thing. It was hilarious. And then he was like, even peeking through a window and is a romance. And then he, you he's like, that's a crime. Yes, it's a crime. Don't do that. Oh my god, I love Ayame. We got to meet Mine, who is a character I like. Her and Ayame are really, really cute. 
and she really cares for him and we got to see that when she took Toru away and she's like okay finally like let's let let's let them have their brotherly talk in their moment like give them some time for them to talk to each other and get to know each other better better because she knows she knows that's what Ayame wants and then Toru's like oh like yeah that's exactly what Toru wants too like after her talk with Ayame last season she wanted to have him and Yuki have a better bond, a brotherly bond. And yeah, and then she's like, but let's pick something for you to wear. And Toru was like, oh, you were serious about that part? And yeah, she's very serious. She's she's gonna dress you up. And Toru looks so pretty in her cute little dress. Yuki is like smiling and everything, playing it cool. But you know, like he was like, heart was beating super fast. But also, you know, if Kyo was there, he'd be like red. So that was great. And yeah, and then they got to talk. I liked Ayame's flashback of how he was basically saying that he was really bad to his brother as a kid and he feels really guilty about that. We know that from last season. Now we get a little bit more on what their actual home situation was like and how Ayame kind of ignored it and all of that and how as he got older, he started realizing things, like the talk he had with Toru last season, you know, he started realizing things and he started feeling bad. And I love that they show him laying on uh, Mine's like lap and she's like, are you sad? It kind of shows his development in a way and how she helped him. I mean, they touch about it much more on the manga, but later on, so I hope we get to see her again. She was there for Ayame and she helped him a lot and I just love seeing how we have the little inserts of her and Ayame. And yeah, I'm actually surprised it took up the whole episode. I thought this episode was going to be divided, but I just didn't remember how long the chapter in the manga actually was. All I remembered was her trying on the dress and looking pretty, and Yuki and Ayame talking. I forgot it also had to do with parent-teacher conferences, even though we got that last episode, or yeah, last episode where like parent-teacher conferences, and I totally forgot about that. But yeah, it was a good episode, and I'm super excited to see next week's episode and I'm also excited to, that we're getting more on their backstories and being animated and it just like broke my heart when Ayame like pulled his hand away because I know how much he regrets it now and just seeing Yuki's backstory and how he's basically used as a kid by his own parents and everything and just breaks my heart. I really love their brotherly talk and when Ayame was saying I wanted to make something like create something that wouldn't be here without me and we get like Yuki holding his little plant because that's kind of what he feels too with his gardening and I thought that was really cute like even though him and his brother are so different they have that little thing in common and it's a feeling they mutually share and yeah and then Ayame being like you have what I don't have and I have what you don't have and like you know we he's like I admire your weakness and kindness and I'm sure you admire my awesomeness but you know it was really cute getting into like a deeper talk with Yuki and strengthening their brotherly bond so I'm excited hopefully I don't remember how much of Ayame and Yuki is in the actual original manga I just remember Ayame always trying to be there for Yuki now he's trying he regrets what he did as a kid and how he was and he's trying to be a better brother to Yuki you know he wants to be there for his brother now like yeah it's it's late but at least he's trying and that's what I really admire about him and he's just a great funny character I love him especially him and Shigure moments. I'm just always like, what the hell, guys? But I love them. Anyways, guys, yeah, I definitely know. Man, I really wish I remembered more of the manga. I like that, okay, so like with the little teasers we get at the end of the episode, I'm like, oh, I think I know what it is. But then I don't remember anything else around that storyline or that plot that can help me fill up the episode. Ugh, I'm just really, really excited for the next episode. I can't wait. I can't believe I have to wait a whole week now. Oh, it's gonna kill me, but still, I'm so excited. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want, and I will see you for the next episode of Fruit Basket. Sadoja!